Miles Nielsen, and Dan McMahon from Miles Nielsen in the Rusted Hearts. How are you guys doing today? Excellent. It's good to have so you good. both here at the same time. <laughs> so good. <laughs> you know, I had to bring it up once. I, I, well, the only reason I came today is because I brought in an outside interview. So he brings in his own interview before our interview. Well, she's a, she's a senior from Keith's school. She's right. doing a senior project. And I thought, you know, why not bring in my own interview to show Double T really like the future of radio in Rockford is me. <laughs> I've never I, done it before, but. Can yeah. I tell you, like, the questions and stuff she had? Like, she was really and, in depth. She, I was going to yeah. bring her in to interview you here. You, yeah. Captain Jack wrote down all the questions, and like he's going to use that in the next interview he does. I know, because he was peeking in on it. Well, yeah, because he's always like, so how much do you bench? Yeah, right. <laughs> so you guys want to start that out? You know, how, you know, I could probably do 110 pounds. Dan, you guessing? how about yourself? Can you... um, I, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Me neither. Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't maxed out and bench in probably 15 years. Right. I'm guessing I could... You know, they say if you can bench your body weight, that's, like, solid. Uh-huh. Is that right, Captain Jack? If you can bench your body weight? If you can bench your body weight, that's pretty good. Well, technically it's supposed to be one and a half your body weight is considered. Oh, that's strong? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> strong. You're yeah, an athlete. Strong. What a, <laughs> I, I do well, want to call you athletic. I felt weird, but. I'm definitely not an athlete, then, because there's no way I can bench. So what did you say, 110? Yeah, I can bench 110. <laughs> What do you think? All right, good to see you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Can you bench your dog? That's the only thing. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. you train it. <laughs> so you guys, I mean, it's, it's you know, spring into summer. This is the busy time for you. And you always do some of those really fun shows in and around Rockford. What, what do you guys got planned coming up? Well, Friday is one of the most fun shows that you can go to see the Rusted Hearts. That's uh, Mary's Place. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, always fun. It's down on Madison Street. If anybody has not been, it's the oldest bar in Rockford. I, I mean, that's what they say. I'm right. not sure, but that's what, you know. I believe them. I believe them. Why would they lie about that? Uh, they have no reason to. Right. If Becky says it, I believe it. If, <laughs> if Jack says it, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, yeah, we're playing there on Friday. We've got uh, some friends of ours, the Driftless Sisters. They're from uh, from Dubuque, Iowa. Okay. And um, they're playing before us, which uh, is kind of fun. It's fun to be able to bring someone from out of town to come see Mary's. Right. And, and it's a great experience for a band that's never... Have they ever been there before? No. Oh, see, that's nice. That's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for your show, because you guys get a lot of people in there. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be like... You know, I like the sweaty, mm-hmm. just divey, you know, really ripe. It's a nice, just rock show. Yeah. You know, it's just like... It gets hot and sweaty and, and fun. What uh, what else? Um, what other shows you guys got coming up in the air? I know you guys keep. Is it living. your birthday, Friday? Friday it is. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, we're playing Double T's birthday show at Mary's place. Yep, yep. Yeah, sweet. Uh, yeah, so make sure I'm on the guest list and everything. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, Dan and I and uh, Kelly Stewart are going to be doing a little guest bartending thing this Thursday from six to eight at Casey's Pub in Lost Park. Someone's letting you guys bartend. Hey, man. They're going to lose money on this. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's for the Boys and Girls Club, so we're trying to raise some money for the kids. You know, good cause. Right. So what is your specialty, Dan? When you're when you're bartending, what should somebody order from you as, as a specialty? I uh, make a real stiff tequila on the rocks. <laughs> I can pour a beer without, you know, too much foamy action. Okay. All right. That's good. It's, that's key. No, how how much do you tilt your your glass when you're pouring the beer? You know, it's hard to say it's exact angle. But right, it's all about the feel. Yeah, you know? yeah, I understand. I understand. Miles, how about you? What's your if someone's gonna order a drink from you tonight at Casey's? What should they order? Hopefully, it's not tonight because I won't be. Or there. not tonight, tomorrow. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Yeah. I'll. Uh, I, I'm a. I'm a great beer and shot guy. Okay. Like, I'll open a bottle and I'll pour a shot. <laughs> but not like anything fancy. Like when I used to bartend, you know, you'd get like that group of girls that comes in and mm-hmm. they're like, we're here for a bachelorette party and we want to do 14 lemon drops. Right. And you're like the only bartender and it's packed. And mm-hmm. you're like, oh, no. <laughs> How about we do 14 Jack Daniels? <laughs> and um, they say no. But then you trick them into it. <laughs> you're like, you know, we're out of lemon drops. Right. It just won't be the it's same. Just, it's, it's, we're out of lemons. Yeah. 
We're out of sugar packets. There's no this lemon juice. Happen. It's yeah. just going to be bad, so let's just do rumple mints. Right. It's like a lemon drop. Yeah, it's like it, but way stronger. <laughs> um, I don't yeah. know, you know. You won't for, need as many. For me, uh, I, it's going to be more of just, I haven't been behind the bar actually working in years. So I'll probably not get behind it too much. I'm just going to go around and like talk about my mayoral campaign of 2020. <laughs> You're laughing. So yeah, what will be the attire for you guys? As because I mean, a lot of it to attract tips, you know, and it, and it's, I mean, it and it seems like a lot of bands will go out. You know, especially some of the older, heavier bands, they'll go out in full leather in, in yeah, 90 I mean, degree heat. They don't whatever. Care. Maybe like leather pants with no shirt. That's at least more rock right. and roll. So you could go pants, but then, now for your band, could you go no shirt? I mean, I don't think anybody in our band is going no shirt. <laughs> Maybe Dave, our bass player. Right. Um, but generally, he goes no shirt, but then with fur coat. Right. Um, so that kind of defeats the purpose yeah, of the yeah, going. <laughs> I'd rather look good than feel good, double T. Right. You got to fight through it, right? For For the sake of fashion the show and rock music fashion and music go hand in hand i mean they do it's just over time it's been proven this is so like are you going to want to come see our band if we're like you know we look like we're you know taking the kids to swim lessons i don't think so no no there's a certain point yeah there's yeah, something like that we maybe expect. do like okay lighter pants okay say, but you're still doing pants mm -hmm. you're still doing boots right you're still doing shirts and coats and hats well, yeah, and you're a hat band, so most of you guys wear hats, so that helps when you're yeah, performing. I just changed my hat to a little more breathable, lighter hat in okay. the summer. But at this point, it's like, let's just sweat. I'm talking to Miles Nielsen and Dan McMahon. So I know there's an activity that you guys really enjoy in the summer, golf. And it's a great town to, to golf. So talk about a little bit about your golf games and playing golf here in Rockford. Well, that's where you can for sure catch us in shorts. Yeah. If anyone would like to take us golfing, see us wear shirts, <laughs> feel free. How's the game? How's the game so far? It's been early. It's early in the season. It's it's kind of too early to tell. I think I've played four times. Okay. Um, going to play again today. Oh, yeah. Look it, at it outside. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's perfect. Is it strictly an at-home thing, or will you throw some clubs in when, you, when you're hitting the road? We, we're going to play in Mexico. We played in Mexico the last time we went down for the festival. Um, we've definitely played a few times on tour, uh, but the last time we took the clubs out for like a three-week tour, we we pulled them out once. We golfed in Cincinnati, and about four holes into it started pouring rain. Oh, no. <laughs> so we just decided, you know what? We're not going to bring our golf clubs. Right. So, Dan, I know you do it a lot. Are you a fair-weather golfer, or will you golf in, in any any weather? Do you mind rain? Do you mind yeah. a little cold? Well, I mind it. Um, it you know, I played in a played in a golf event last Friday, and it rained really bad, and I quit after ten holes. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't feel my hands anymore. Well, you but played great, right? yeah, yeah, I was playing great till you know, yeah, till I couldn't feel my hands anymore. But of course, isn't that how but, it is? Yeah. You're having your best you know, game, and the weather's not totally, cooperating. Exactly, yeah, heavy stuff's not coming down for some time. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, you know, Miles and I are definitely. There's been times when we've been out at the end of the year, like just Rocky in the cold. Years. Just like, we don't want to let it go. You, you know? just got to like, keep trying. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not fair weather. I mean, pretty much if they'll let me go out there, I'll go, you know, and play. So well, that's nothing wrong with that. And and the Ice Hogs, I, I know you guys are big fans oh, man, of the Ice Hogs. And, and now they're in the conference finals. What do you guys think of the chance of the team? This is, they look great. I mean, I went to most of those games of the last series, and it was just, it, I can't wait to see where they go. Texas next, right? Yeah, Texas Stars kicks off Friday in Texas. In Austin, of all places. Just don't get, if, the, if you're the players, just don't get sucked up by how fun Austin is. Yeah, then, I was you know, warning, warning like, Jeff Glass earlier this morning. Well, it's like, it's like uh, I think if you look at the, the Vegas pro team, the right. NHL team, um, and you look at their home record, <laughs> it's amazing because the other team comes in, they're like, whoa, we're in Vegas. Woo! And then they just... You know, right? They bleep the bed every time. You know, it's like they're they play terrible because they're in Vegas. So right. It's like you know, just don't let the Austin factor get into your you know your partying schedule. But it you know, I, I'm I'm excited, man. It's always you know just for for Rockford. You know, generally speaking, professional sports. You know, we've 
we haven't had that much success, you know, success over the last few years. Right. But to see, you know, the team going deep into it, man, it's fun. And I'm, man, it's like, I was saying just like, it, it would be really great to see more people show up. You mm-hmm. know? It's like pack that place, man, because that it really is fun when that place is loud and get going. You know, you can see the effect of of the crowd on people. It's like anything, you know, right. people that are there cheering you, you go go nuts, man. It's great, and and it, they're a fun team to watch. They're fun, yeah. It's been great. Um, plus, they get to see you. Well, you, know, you yeah, get to yeah. you get to get you out on the ice there <laughs> and throw pucks at you. It's, <laughs> thanks, thanks yeah. for reminding him. Well, about the chuck the puck thing is always kind of you know like I, I'm just that's you know I'm always ready for someone to to bean you or stuff. Right, I usually try to hold off as long as I can. I know, I've noticed that, and let yeah. them kind of get the rest of them out before before I do it. Well, thanks a lot for coming in today, guys. So tomorrow night you're at Casey's doing some bartending. Friday night at Mary's, the 29th, you're at Anderson Gardens to kick off the the music in the garden series, and then some other fun things coming out throughout yeah. the summer in the area and out of the area. Yeah, if you just check the website, it's just milesnielsen.com, and uh, I mean, we're all over the place, you know, regionally, nationally, uh, internationally. And hopefully some new material sometime. Yeah, we are we don't have anything like a set release date for the new record, but we're definitely uh, really excited about where it's going, and uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to try to get on as soon as possible and you know it's kind of weird to try to make a record during the summer which is our busiest time right but also seems like a fun time to get it done when we're all kind of in the in the zone yeah i mean you're all playing together you're all together all the time as opposed to you know when you have kind of a break like 16 inches apart for months on end (laughs) you know (laughs) yeah well have a fun summer thank you so much for coming i'm sure we'll have you in sometime in between do it again yeah. All right. Miles Nielsen, Dan McMahon. Go check him out at one of those uh, fun shows and any of the other ones that they have coming up.